Sewing, earthworks and brickwork, the roof framing phase completes the primary structure of a house. This provides homeowners with their first look at the overall shape of the building. Bundles of roof timber are loaded onto the block by crane. Once again, the construction supervisor will cross-check these deliveries against an inventory of supplies. A team of carpenters will take up to five days to assemble the roof frame. The frame is engineered to suit the wind classification calculated for your particular house. The wind classification is noted on your soil report. It's a letter and number combination that can be related to the wind speeds expected at the block during severe storms. It depends on many factors, such as the block's elevation, exposure and proximity to open spaces or bodies of water. The wind classification determines the materials and connections used in the roof frame. Each timber beam has been treated for protection against termite activity. The treatment solution often appears blue, but can display no colour at all. Some beams present with knots or holes, but these growth characteristics do not affect the structural integrity of the roof. Every length of timber has been scanned and electronically graded at the manufacturing mill and deemed fit for purpose. One of the things we get asked about is what is a spandrel and, and what's it going to look like? Well, this is how we do the spandrels. We do it a bit different to some of the other builders as we completely block in the gap between the higher eave and the lower eave, just so you don't see the unsightly lower roof. You might think it looks a bit unsightly at the moment, but once it's got its coat of paint on and it's finished off, it'll blend in nicely and you'll never notice it. The frame is enclosed with steel colour bond sheets to complete the roof. This durable product requires low maintenance. Colour bond guttering and fascia is also fitted to ensure perfect colour integration. Once the roof frame is secure, the electrician will install cables within the brick walls. Electrical wires used to be exclusively protected by thick conduit tubes, but nowadays the supplied cable sheath provides sufficient insulation under most circumstances, allowing wires to be chased directly into the walls. This practice has been approved by all relevant authorities for decades. Downpipes are positioned at the discretion of the roof plumber, who configures them to provide optimal water flow discharge during a rain event. If the exterior of the house is to be rendered, downpipes will be left short until after the plaster has dried. Downpipes installed on the front elevation will eventually be painted to match the exterior colour of the house. Occasionally, a supply lag will postpone the fitting of the final roof cappings. However, the property is technically covered by the colour bond sheeting and work can begin on internal finishes and fixtures. Next up, we'll look at the white set plastering phase. You'll learn about moisture testing, understand the cause of float coat discoloration and find out why white set plaster is white, plus much more.